Hi. We'd like to introduce you to a future product that we plan on building if there's enough interest. What we have before us is one of our semi-auto DPM built for the most part as it will come to everyone that buys one. Uh, the one exception on this is it has been modified for the product that we'd like to offer. You see the 47 round drum mag, that's standard for the gun. And you also see this PKM belt. So what is it that we have? We recently acquired an RP46 kit that came with most of the parts, not all of them, but most importantly it came with the belt feed and top cover, which allows you to convert your DPM, DP28, to a belt fed weapon with some minor modifications. Like I say, the barrel shroud has had a cut put in it and the rear sight uh, base mag release has to be cut a little bit so that it will latch onto this top, top cover. Some of the things we are going to change on this though, just to let you know, is the way this hooks into that slot on the barrel shroud, it gets a little thin towards one of these vent ports. We don't really care for that and we don't want you guys to have to send in your whole gun to have two parts modified to accept this top cover if we build it like the original. So what we plan on doing is omitting the need for this slot by changing how this latch works somehow because right now you with it in the unlock position snap it in place and push this over and this little you know quarter moon shaped lock takes a bite of the barrel jacket to allow you to carry the weight of the weapon on this handle like I say we don't really care for that so we're going to change that up a little bit you're welcome to give us your opinion on that as well as currently the rear side base has to, like I say, has to be cut a little bit so that it can latch onto this because this sticks out a little further than the magazine does. And something else we do not care about, care that much for on this, is that the latch is what holds this top cover down. And as you can see, it's spring loaded. Whenever you want to open this, you have to have the handle in the unlocked position to allow this to swing open all the way two things about that. One, this is now unlocked so that point is gone and there is also nothing holding it on the back. So now between gravity and your charging handle being hooked in this actuator is all that holds this on the gun and that's not really all that great. So we're going to change how it mounts to the gun in the front and in the rear we are probably going to make the rear side base to where it does not have to be modified. It will latch onto this base and then we will integrate some kind of some kind of either lever or button lock, kind of like the Gorgonov or PKM or any of those others, to hold this shut so that you guys you know, don't have the issues that you may or may not see when I shoot this. We're not sure on a price point yet. We have to wait and see how much it costs us to produce this, but what we are going to do is set up a purchase option on our website to purchase for nothing a form that you can fill out to give us your comments and questions that you may have and to show us your interest. There will be a uh, email address to send the form letters to. Based on the feedback we get from you guys is what will allow us to decide if we want to pursue this. If only three or four people say, hey, I want it, then we probably will not. If we get enough interest, however, we will start production on these just as soon as we figure out the few things we want to change. Uh, one other note, the standard gas system on this will operate it in semi-auto, but it will not operate it in semi-auto and pull a belt on this loader, because between the weight of the belt and it having to pull it in the gun, along with strip around out of the cart, out of the belt, your standard barrel, and this is one of our newly manufactured barrels available for sale also, we have adapted one of the flash cones to a booster just so that we didn't have to mess with the gas system any. You take it and put it right on your semi-auto as it works now. Just put the booster cone on it. It'll allow the gun to function with the belt feeder. So any other questions you guys have, feel free to ask. We'd really like to hear from you. Interest is the main thing we're shooting for here to see if this is a a possible project for us to get started on now or if it's something that there isn't really any interest in and uh, you know any any comments that you have any input things that you'd like to see that you haven't seen or uh, 
just anything would be great. We appreciate it, guys. And I'm going to shoot this here in a minute with the magazine and then with the belt fed top cover so you can see the difference between the two.